Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. YFQ-42A Collaborative Combat Aircraft starts flight testing. Oceanside PD rolls out drone as first responder. And USDOT and FAA issue RFS for brand new ATC system. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. YFQ-42A Collaborative Combat Aircraft starts flight testing. The YFQ-42A Collaborative Combat Aircraft has begun its flight testing in coordination with the U.S. Air Force, taking a vital step for its manufacturer, General Atomics. The CCA is a much-needed improvement over existing fixed-wing UAVs in the portfolio, adding a slew of low-observability elements to keep up with developments abroad. The CCA's designation describes its role to some extent. The Y is a placeholder for non-production unit, the F for fighter, and Q for uncrewed. It's a bit of a departure from the UAVs we've watched for decades, like the venerable Predator or Osprey. General Atomics has been working on its brain for some time already, using their jet-powered MQ-20 Avenger as a testbed for their autonomous training and direction. The current YFQ-42A is a production representative version of the aircraft, so what we see in the air today is likely what the future A model will look like. Currently, the firm manufactures more than 100 legacy aircraft per year at its Poe, California facility. The CCA will soon be the USAF's preeminent air dominance UAV, designed to provide, quote, air dominance while being designed for rapid production in large quantities at an affordable price, end quote. They've cited a goal of producing 1,000 aircraft on an accelerated timeline. After the break, USAF Inc. $17.4 million contract for autonomous cargo ops. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. USAF Inc. $17.4 million contract for autonomous cargo ops. The United States Air Force recently awarded a $17.4 million contract to Reliable Robotics in hopes of redefining military cargo transportation. The company's end of the bargain includes the purchase, integration, and testing of autonomous systems on Cessna 208B aircraft. In theory, the deal means that the humble caravan, which has been a staple of small cargo ops worldwide, could be converted to a drone that moves military freight between bases. Reliable says the technology is aircraft agnostic and comes with multiple layers of redundancy. Water sporting drone released by Hover Air. For some time now, the market has finally worked its head around the concept of the flying cameraman a small compact UAV that zips around to autonomously film whatever is going on. Hover Air is addressing one shortcoming of most models with its specially outfitted Aqua Series, a buoyant, fully waterproof design. The name is relatively fresh on the scene, having launched in 2022 with their first model, the Hover Air X1. But their parent firm, Zero Zero Robotics, has been around for more than a decade. FAA warns of two-hour delays for Starship's Florida launch. SpaceX's plan to not only bring its Starship mega rocket to the Sunshine State, but also expand operations to 44 launches per year, could be in serious trouble for major airports and airlines. The FAA predicts average delays of up to two hours. 
In a draft environmental review, the agency confirmed that it expects to see average delays of up to two hours at major airports during launches, with re-entries causing delays of up to an hour. Depending on traffic levels, as many as 200 aircraft per hour could be affected during a launch and up to 600 during a re-entry. SkyDrive SD5 completes demos at Expo 2025 in Osaka. Japanese EVTOL aircraft developer SkyDrive announced the successful completion of a series of demo flights of its SkyDrive, the SD5 model, that it conducted at the Expo 2025 held in Osaka, Japan, running from July 31st to August 24th. The flights lasted between 5 and 10 minutes in duration and took the aircraft from the Expo venue's vertiport out over the Osaka Bay. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Oceanside PD rolls out drone as first responder. The Oceanside, California Police Department is rolling out a trial run of its drone as first responder program, using funds from a state grant to improve police response time and provide situational awareness for officers en route to the scene. The program will be used for emergency calls requiring rapid police presence. The drone can be scrambled from the department's headquarters by four FAA-certified Part 107 sworn police officer drone pilots who are permitted to fly the drone beyond visual line of sight. This means that instead of waiting to arrive on scene to deploy the drone, the drone can be launched from headquarters and arrive well before officers to provide crucial information within minutes. The drone can reach the city's northern border with Camp Pendleton or the southern border with Carlsbad much faster than an officer can get there, especially in summer traffic. Responding to critics who fear the drones will be used for mass surveillance, the department said that as they are flying, the drones are looking at the horizon, not downward. They only focus on the ground when they arrive on scene. After these messages, U.S. DOT and FAA issue RFS for brand new ATC system. The legendary BD 4 seat program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD 4 CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD 4 C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. It's time to upgrade your power plant to the first FAA-certified clean sheet engine design in over 60 years. Delta Hawk's jet fuel-powered liquid-cooled turbocharged engine produces turbine performance at 40% better fuel efficiency of typical reciprocating engines, while also achieving exceptional reliability and significant reduction in cost of ownership. Reserve your engine package today at DeltaHawk.com. Welcome back. USDOT and FAA issue RFS for brand new ATC system. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy and FAA Administrator Brian Bedford announced the start of the next step in identifying a prime integrator to manage the creation of a brand new air traffic control system. To do so, the DOT and FAA have crafted an innovative, first-of-its-kind federal procurement contract, and interested parties may submit proposals through a request for solutions by September 21, 2025. To meet the ambitious goal of having a new system implemented in three to four years, the agencies have expedited the procurement process, with the new contract incentivizing rapid results and penalizing missed deadlines. Secretary Duffy said, quote, this is the next important step to make our skies safer and air travel more efficient. To avoid the missed deadlines and mistakes of the past, we've designed an innovative process to select and contract with one prime integrator. The bottom line, we are working at the speed of President Trump, and this process will put us on the right footing to deliver real progress. We will not let government bureaucracy get in the way of results, end quote. 
The scope of the project is massive and will involve replacing core infrastructure such as radar, software, hardware, and telecom networks to support modern air travel. The updated technologies will reduce outages, improve efficiency, and reinforce safety. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.